hello and welcome in you guys we got one piece episode 1108 here in front of us today uh last time we left off we got a little bit more of kuma's backstory uh we also saw that the seraphim are on a rampage and that there is something shady going on here on agate island so we are here to see what the hell is gonna happen so that being said let's just hop into it what is this incomprehensible the seraphim's rebellion what am i looking at what is pink flowers Ah, uh, the Hancock Seraphim. Damn! Damn! They're going all out on this! What? This is... A... Isn't this a recap from last week, too? We saw Yor get stoned last week. <laughs> they really said, yo, boy, Hancock Seraphim? We gotta go all out, boys. Run it back! Run it back! That was cool. Okay, so we got we got Usopp, Frankie, and Lilith versus Hancock Seraphim. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Frankie and Usopp together would not be able to beat the real Boa Hancock. There's no way they're taking on the Lunarian robot modeled after her that has the exact same powers. Even without hockey on the Seraphim, they can't do it, dude. Yeah, Usopp does not stand a chance. Frankie, uh, I, he's just a bad matchup at that point, right? I guess, I guess they both are, right? Frankie's big and slow. Usopp is just a sharpshooter. Not really good against uh, close combat. And yeah, Seraphims are not listening to Vegapunk anymore. The hierarchy does not matter. Oh, oh yeah, and the laser beams too! Ah! Guys, dodge! Yokuro, get out of there! They're making the Hancocks there from look cool, man. I'm still debating who's my favorite Seraphim thus far. It either Hancock or Mihawk. They're just so cool. The Kuma one, man. I mean, you know, Luffy and Zoro find the Kuma one right here. But let me tell you, dude, we've seen Kuma a bajillion times. At this point, I'm kind of sick of him. You know, maybe we got to get rid of Kuma. And speaking of S-Hawk, here he is too. If you want to fight to the bitter end, I'll go along. Dude, Zoro's having fun. <laughs> yeah, I always wanted to fight Mihawk and I just beat a Lunarian. So run it back. Run it back. Oh, they're at- Oh! Takura Luchi. I love that. Dude, that's respect, man. Who are you- Yeah! Ah, I love that. Your aim sucks. Um, yeah. Zoro protecting Rob Luchi and Kaku, despite them being abhorrently evil characters. You gotta respect it, man. Like, Kaku, Luchi, they can't fight back right now. And Zoro, man? I, I love that. I love that he's looking out for him. It was arrogant of me to think that you're coming after me. They're after CP0. Gotta protect them. Yeah, and then him and Kaku had the giraffe line back in his lobby. Like, come on. You know, yeah, we don't like him, but... You know, we know him. Can't just let him die. Especially under their watch, too, right? Rob Luchi and Kaku die on the side? Sure, whatever. But not in front of Luffy and Zoro, dude. Yeah, Shanka, tell him to stop. This is impossible. Is, is that all he's going to say? <laughs> uh, this right here? Impossible. Incomprehensible. No way. I'll test the rank of authority. That's cool. Tomare. I like how you can see like their their pupil not pupils but their eyes like shift a little bit as if they have to like listen to the message before they can like, act. That's kind that's kind of nice. It <laughs> leave a sour aftertaste. What's up with the seraphim? Are they like processing the information? It's like a battle strategy, right? Wait for Zoro to put up his swords, and then we attack! Haha! <laughs> wow. 
Impressive reaction time, by the way. Back in the day, dude, none of the Shirohets could dodge a singular, regular pass of Fista laser beam. Now look at him. Use the Dom shoes. Yeah, let's fly. What? They really zoomed in on Frankie's crotch, huh? Not only did they zoom in on his crotch, they gave him like a bulge down there too. Like, brother, we didn't have to see that, man. Well, I, I guess if the guys are getting like, you know, cheeks from Lilith, Nami, Robin, and York, I guess I guess the girls have Frankie growing to work with. That's hilarious. Yeah, I guess it's a two-way street, fair enough. Yeah, communications are jammed. Damn. You know, her eyes remind me of like a one-star Dragon Ball. Maybe this is a sign to watch Dragon Ball Z again. Can I fight back? Oh, Frankie. Yeah, run it. She isn't someone you can defeat. Yeah, sorry, Frankie. I love you, man, but you're not you're not the monster trio. You know, Sanji, Zoro, Luffy, hell, even Jimbei. You know, run it against them. You know, different story, but she, I, I, I put the Seraphim over Frankie. Hate to say it. Frankie needs an upgrade. I mean, same with Usopp and a lot of the Straw Hats, but unfortunate. One of the Vegapunks is commanding them. Yup. It's Among Us, guys! This is the Among Us TV show they were talking about at the Summer Games Festival. Somebody wants to kill all of us. Yeah, it's rough. If it's one of the Vegapunks, it's hard because they're all more or less accounted for. Like, when did they have time to do this, you know? Why are they doing this? Oh, Luchi and Kaku are up! Screw the Seraphim! <laughs> Why don't we make a truce? Oh, here we go. I love that. Yeah, use them. <gasps> what is it? What is it? <laughs> They look disgusted. Yeah, just like Whitebeard. What I love is, uh, you know, over here, they added in the Rob Lucci and Kaku doing this. That, that wasn't in the manga. They, they added emphasis to it here. I thought you were the mastermind. Nope, he's another victim. Wow! Wait, his tongue goes all the way down to his crotch? Damn, dude! Not like I'd recommend her to even try it, but Vegapunk could take it. He is self-sufficient, you know what I mean? I had no idea this was happening on Egghead. God, their hands look like zombie prints. It's like Dawn of the Dead. Huh? The zoom in on... Huh. In the... In the anime, they... they Wow, they zoomed in on Saturn. So, so Vegapunk knows that it's Saturn? He knows that Saturn's on his way and everything? That's... That's really interesting. Yeah, 100 battleships, send them to Egghead Island. Kill them all! Destroy the island. Oh, I love that. Yeah, Egghead, Ohara, same thing, right? It's because of the Poneglyphs, man. That's because of that damn history. Also, I'm gonna say it right here, but Centromaru is a prime example why you should always double tap. Like, Cyberpool should have killed this guy a long time ago. But now look at him. Now Centromaru has all the Mark III pacifistas on their side. Yeah, unfortunate, dude. Unfortunate. 
Honestly, W backstory. Honestly, I'm surprised Vegapunk doesn't have like a bunch of uh, submarines, like a giant submarine to send all these guys on, you know? I like how they still have the disgusted face. Let's say we uncuff you guys and fight together with you. <laughs> You won't let us cuff you again, huh? I like how S Hawk put the sword back. He's like, well, they're they're chatting it up. You know, I, I gotta give him the second. Yes, we will. Once we get over this crisis together, we submit to you cuffing us again. Okay, then we'll uncuff you. <laughs> Luffy's too trusting. That was obviously bullshit. <laughs> What do you mean? Kaku? No, nah, dude, the guy's never lied in his life, right? It's not like he, he went undercover for five years and then betrayed Water 7. Yeah, the Super Super no me, Mr. One. God, I love Mr. One. What a great character, dude. I, I need Mr. One to come back. Like, stupid, stupid comparison. Imagine if instead of Luchi and Kaku, imagine if we had Mr. One and Crocodile. That would be another banger combo. We need those guys again, dude. The way I see it is that they are just different versions of Luffy and Zoro, right? I mean, even Sanji, because we got Mr. Two. You're right, we got Luffy, Zoro, we got Mr. One, Crocodile, Rob Luchi, Kaku. Who, who's, who's another good one? I guess Kaido and King. Yeah, Kaido and King were the homeboys, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roger and Rayleigh. Yeah, Roger and Rayleigh. Another iconic duo. Shanks doesn't have one, in my opinion, because he has, like, you know, if you put Shanks in there, he comes with, like, Lucky Rue and Ben Beckman and all those other. Yeah, Sop, too. He's got too many, too many cooks in the kitchen there. Of course, I mean, like, his right hand man is Ben Beckman, but I mean, like, characters that just stand out as a duo. Oh, we haven't had any, like, Shanks and Ben Beckman scenes where they're, like, side by side doing something, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't give me that vibe yet. Ah, oh, dang, I'm trying to think of one more. Don Cregan Gint, yeah! Don Cregan Gint, that's a good one. Yeah, dude, I, uh, number ones and twos, amazing. Oh, Kid and Killer, duh, that's an easy one. Uh, that's an easy slam dunk, Kid and Killer. <laughs> the green hue that pops out when he does that, so cool. Oh, that's where we end the episode. Damn, that went by so quick. All right, you know how it is. We got to cut to the preview. What is this? Filler? The Yonko. Are we gearing up for a big episode? Let me think. What happens next? Oh, yeah, I guess next episode would be big. Yeah. Wait, yeah, wait. Next episode is big. Oh. Well, I mean, you know, besides the filler. Yeah, wow, okay, okay. Hey, whenever Toei goes on a break like this, whenever they bring back filler, you know they're cooking some heat for the next canon episode. Uh, but hey, with that being said, thank you guys so much for joining me on this One Piece adventure. I really freaking appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in two weeks. Peace out.